Why, hello there. Welcome to this little thing I'm doing for Super Mario 64. <laughs> Wait, did I really just say that? Uh, well, welcome to the Harvest Moon 64 playthrough. I don't know whether to call these Let's Plays or not anymore, because it just doesn't, just doesn't ring like it used to, the Let's Play thing. But yeah, I'm gonna just start up the game. The, int the intro is very long, and a lot of people are sad that our grandfather is dead. But we're getting his farm, so it's time for a new era. Move over, Zane. There's a new... There's a new blue hat boy in town. And our name is being... Uh, Gus? Should it just be G Bingus? No, I stole that from PBG. I can't think of anything better though, so it's Bingus. And it fits. Literally into the thing, so. Welcome Bingus to the world. Bingus' birthday is at the end of the year. I've never actually had my birthday in these games in the winter, so I kinda wanna try that out. Yes, name and birthday, perfect. Now we just have to name three more things. The ranch's name. The... Ah, uh, man, I don't know. The... <laughs> the, the sub farms. Sub ranch. You can take that multiple different ways. It's like a... Like a joke or something. <laughs> the, the dog's name. I, uh, I usually name my dog Tater. No, that's not an A. Man. Yeah. I'm really going ham on the, uh, on the A button on accident. I gotta, really gotta watch my fat thumbs from hitting all these buttons. And we're in. We can run around our little house here, our beautiful abode, and check the calendar. Put down our birthday, which isn't this month. Let me out. Okay. And check the weather. There's all sorts of channels here. This is my favorite. Anyway, let's get to farming. <laughs> oh wait, we gotta talk to Thomas first. Nice to meet you, I'm the mayor. I'm sure you have lots of questions. Shall I show you around the town, the village? Yes, I would love a show of the village. If you take this path, you head towards Moon Mountain and the vineyard. This way leads to the green ranch. They'll teach you how to raise animals. Oh, and they're looking for someone to take their horse. So you should drop by before the end of the spring. That's the florist. They sell vegetables and grass seeds. And they can tell you what to do. Hello, visit Floris Lilia for flowers and vegetables. It just feels weird to see quotation marks in someone's, like, speech, you know? The church. The children study there. They don't say much about the church. But right next door we got the bar. It's open in the evening. I think after 5 p.m. or whatever the closest approximation of 5 p.m. there is in this game. You go up there to get to the village square. It's where we hold our festivals. Get ready to be winning some money there on the horse races. About to be betting on the horses. Rick. That's the tools of craft shop. 
You can buy farm tools and sundry goods there? I don't actually know what the word sundry means. Hello. Hello, Rick. I think that's a mailbox, that red thing. Here's Ellie. That's the bakery. It has a good reputation. <laughs> Hello, please drop by for a bite. We get to see all the bachelorettes. Except Karen. She's a tsundere. That's the potion shop. You can drink medicine when you feel sick. But rest is the best thing. And all the children playing by the scrapyard. By, by the pipes. You can read books in the library. Make good use of it. And that's another one of the bachelorettes next to the lady talking to us. Welcome to Flowerbud Village. I have run the library. Well, I think I've showed you all the main places. Take care and good luck. Yeah, he doesn't really go to the vineyard, but... I've spent most of my time in this game in the mountains and at the vineyard. Hey, you're the old man's grandson, right? Nice to meet you. I'm a buyer. <laughs> Your grandpa and I knew each other for a long time. Let me tell you how to ship goods. Put the vegetables you grow and the stuff you can get in the mountains in this shipping crate. I pick them up in the evening and pay you cash. There's a toolbox in your house and a notebook explaining how to use them. Some TV programs are also very instructive. But not in real life. Sometimes, maybe. Find things that you can do and get used to the work. Slowly. And get used to the work slowly. Well, goodbye and good luck. You're gonna need it, kid. Turns into... Harvest Moon 64 horror hack. Sur <laughs> survival horror. Alright, well let's get to clearing this field once I can get my button presses right. So I... I employ a little secret technique. I don't actually watch very many people play this game. I don't know if this is a thing that everyone does. But I keep all of these rocks. And these rocks are my fence for the rest of time. Because... Uh, the rocks don't decay and they keep animals in just the same and in Harvest Moon 64 I don't think there are any animals to keep out this isn't like like uh, back to nature or something where there's like wild dogs in the woods this game is much more forgiving so what we do here is we just kind of just kind of finagle these here. Also, it's nice in this version because you can uh, you can just always smash these big ones. You don't have to wait for like three upgrades to finally clear your whole field. You can just do it. Very nice. Very nice. I am definitely getting used to these uh, this N64 stick emulated. Yeah, let's get big. Get rid of this one. I'm just gonna clear one channel all the way down for now. That'll be about all I do. Cause that that might take a couple of days in the game. I don't think that you can jump over anything, but either way, Zach, you were just here. I I don't. I don't have things to sell you already, man. I'm breathing on my neck a little bit much here, Zach. We're gonna work a little, little ways into the night. I pretty much go until I see this. There's this thing that happens. It's like a certain type of shading change in the environment. I usually go to bed around then. In this game. We've got a nice outer layer of rocks. 
And you usually have a bunch of extra ones anyway. Oh wait, I got the thing. Oh no, now I'm tired. Doesn't take energy picking up rocks though. Alright, got kind of a little uh, outline here. Got a little bit more energy. It's very different using not an N64 controller to play this game. You don't get the notches on the uh, on the stick. All right, music cut out. Time to go to bed. We'll get a couple of days done, I'm sure. And then uh, we'll move on to the next episode. Always got to take your dog outside. I don't know if it does anything at all, but... It makes me think he's happy. He gets to play with the birds. So let's finish this out. Oh, that's already done. Okay. We'll come in here. We'll uh, get the rest of these rocks out of here. Then we'll get that wood. Well, actually, no. Today we got a plant. Got to get at least a couple seeds. Probably whatever I can afford. I'm gonna have to hoe some land soon. So for the first spring here, the first place I clear out is gonna be for the plants. But eventually, eventually that whole area will just be, uh, wait, I'll have to move these then. Whoops. He can pick up rocks from a very far, very far away. So we'll, we'll get this land all, all tilled out. I usually start with two rows. That's probably more than enough. I don't think I can afford that many seeds anyway. This is going to be super inefficient actually. I should not do it like this. We'll just kind of rearrange this stuff. Because I definitely don't want to take out the whole middle row of stuff. We're not going to have time to buy seeds today. I'm going to go get them right now. Man, the days in this, yeah, it's already almost six. They might not even be open now. All right. Days are lightning quick in this. Yeah, Zach is already here. I think the flower shop is closed. Let me in. No. Oh, well, fuck it. Guess I'll spend the night uh, finishing up that shit. Ah, uh, yes, the nighttime ambiance. So we'll just get out. Oh, come on, make it, little guy. This is a little hard to aim up on this this controller here. Gonna take this stump out. I don't even know if this will be here tomorrow. I don't know how land becomes untilled uh, in this game. I don't really remember. So it's about nine.
Oh, he's tired. Alright. Well, I don't actually need these rocks here, so once I need to, I'll take those out. Come on, Doug. Sometimes I name my dog Doug. Doug the dog. Alright, we'll do one more day. I want to plant some seeds in the first episode. At least. Like, I have to, right? So, it should be 6 a.m., yep. And then we'll, uh... I already got the hammer equipped, dude. Uh, okay, we'll just keep that. Alright, well I should be able to get to the majority of everything then. Put some of these rocks away. Just to remind myself what I'm doing with them. The fact that I do have to move them. Alright, let's get them flowers. By the time I get there, it should be pretty close to 9. Get them flowers. Yes. We'll get... That's just grass, I think. Potatoes? I forget. Cabbage? Oh boy. No. We'll uh turnips, yeah. Oh you can literally only get one pack? What are potatoes? There's gotta be a cheap one, right? Oh no, they're all the same. Might as well get the cabbage then. I swear, I, I thought, I remember you being able to plant tomatoes in the spring, I swear. So, okay, well we got one. I uh, put it here. One cabbage. We and then we water. Oh wait, it doesn't have any water in it. Okay. So after this, I'm gonna go rummage through the woods. And uh, we're going to sell all that stuff. And hopefully I'll have that back before six. Let's go. We must fly. Speed run. Speed run, blue hair, harvest moon guy. Or blue, blue, uh, whatever it is. Oh, man. I gotta figure out how to put stuff in my backpack. This can't be the way. I don't remember it being this bad. Getting stuff out of the bag. Oh, Karen, hi. Well, this is the last bachelorette. You don't look familiar. Where are you from? Well, it doesn't matter. You'll be gone soon anyway. Very ominous, young lady. Very, very ominous and threatening, young lady. But that's fine, because I want to marry you. I do think Karen is going to be my wife. But I might go for the library girl this time. I could easily cheat to get Karen. I do be like bugs. You don't like bugs, do you? <laughs> Figure she didn't. Let's catch a squirrel. I'm gonna take this squirrel back home to my dog. 
You like squirrels, don't you? Yay! It's cute. If, uh, if we wanted to, I could just go to the bar with my dog and show him to Karen and she would love me. We could just, as soon as get a kitchen, get married. But I don't know if I want to do that. Tater, you like the squirrel? I brought a squirrel back for you, Tater. He's our friend now. Yeah, he's a cute little friend. Cell phones! There never seems to be an end to the material supplied by the little mobile device known as the cell phone. So, why is it that the first thing that comes out of anyone's mouth well, when they I guess that's a... That's a day in Harvest Moon, or at least a couple of them. So, I'll catch you guys next time.